Hello and welcome to the intro to Playmaker. Today we're going to be learning how to make a cube that changes color when clicked. I'm going to load my saved layout for Playmaker. You can see our video on how to make window layouts, link in the description. So let's start things off by creating a cube. And we'll put a Playmaker FSM on it by coming down here and right clicking to add FSM. Now this little gray box right here is called a state, and right now it represents the current state of our cube. States are where you put actions, and actions are the things that tell Unity what to do. For example, if we come over here to the actions browser and find a set material color, we add that to our state. Let's change this to blue, and let's call this state blue just to keep things organized. Now if we press play, boom, the cube is blue. And you'll see down here that Playmaker has highlighted this state as green. That's Playmaker's way of showing us which state that we're in. Let's add a new state by right clicking and add state. We'll call this one red. And let's put a set material color in here and this time we will change it to red. Now, instead of starting over here on the blue state, we want to start on the red state this time. We could do that by right-clicking on the state, set as start state. Now, if we press play, we get a red cube. Now, let's make it so the cube only changes color when we click. Let's set the blue state back to our start state. We're gonna right-click on the blue state, add transition, system events, mouse down. Now it added the mouse down transition to the blue state. If we click this transition and drag out, you'll see that it creates a little arrow. If we drag this arrow over to our red state and let go, it connects the states. Now this is a finished transition. So if we press play now, clicking will take us from blue to red. But if we try clicking again, it doesn't take us back. That's because we didn't program the red state to look for another click to send us back. Setting it up to go back and forth is as easy as setting up the red state with another mouse down transition. And again, we'll just click and drag, this time connecting it to the blue state. And I'll move these over here so we don't get our transition targets all crossed up just for a cleaner view of what's going on here. Now if we press play, you can witness the unimaginable. We start off on blue, but if we click, it'll take us to red, click again, back to blue, and we can go back and forth. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.